Hey guys, so I'm going to be showing you how to make the pyramid game. Um, as you can see here, it is quite simple and it has a little bit of um, repetition to check your skills the whole time. So you can see here we've got 65, 55, 45, 35 and 25 of all the pyramid pieces that are all 3mm thick. Um, but the first part I'm going to make here is the 200 by, um, we'll zoom in there, 65 um, base. And then we'll also make these pins that go into it. So let's get straight on. I've already made a file here because my computer is running really slow. And so you can see here I've started the basic um, drawing page, selecting the top plane. And it's taking a long time again. Um, we're almost there. Um, so then what we're going to start with is, as always, we're going to need to turn this around. So top's facing the right way. Um, and that's just for ease of when we put it together later on. Um, we can start with a rectangle, making sure that dot goes green when we hover it over the yellow square. Um, and then we're going to be 200, and then tab, 65, enter. Um, now that we've done that, so I'm just going to go back actually, if it once it actually loads after freaking out. <laughs> Oh, here we go. There we go. So we're going to go back and just double check the thickness. So 19 millimeters is how thick this needs to be. So if we go back here, I'm going to go 3D model, extrude. And we're going to extrude that 19 millimeters when that finally comes up. I guess this is sort of accurate because this is kind of the speed that the School computers run out. Actually, I reckon the school computers are a bit better. Um, Alright, so that's set to 10, as you can see. So I need to click on that. Once it starts, there we go. We're going to make that 19. And go OK. Here we go, come on. Alright, the final bit we're going to have to do to this um, block here is put the holes in. So, this is actually quite easy. So, we're going to left click on the face of it there because um, I want to put them straight through the top. Make sure you don't do it onto the side just over here, okay? And once I've left clicked, um, the options come up there and I click on the final right hand option, create sketch. And then after that's thought about, you can see here as well I've already prepared my pyramid pins um, page that we're going to be using next. Now what I can do is, um, I'm just going to go back to this drawing and double check the size of the pins, and they are 10 millimeters. Um, we're going to go back over here, and we're going to go to circle, and I'm going to just about get them in the right spot, uh, 10, enter. Actually, hang on, I don't think they are 10. So the beauty of actually having this up here, I thought they were, I just presumed they were 10. I can go to annotate and just double check what size they actually are with the dimension tool. 3.2. So that's a weird size, but hey, that's there now. So 3.2 is the diameter of the pins. So I can always just double click on 10 there and change that to 3.2 and press enter. Cool. So now I need to make multiple of these. So I'm just going to, oh, I can, I can leave that there, circle, we'll go back over here, 3.2, and last one, 3.2, you saw on that last one there, I actually lined it up, so you can see there, um, the middle of this is actually lined up with those two circles now, and not with that one, which is a little bit frustrating, I might actually right click, um, go OK, I'm actually going to delete that now. And I'll make another one so that way half the job's done for me and I just need to line it up with this. Actually, I don't think that got it. It's important that you line it up with the middle of this and not some other angle from the circuit you've already put on there. So there we go. So hopefully they're in the middle. We are going to check though. Um, so if we go to mention and we can double check. So this one's probably the one I'm worried about. It looks a little bit off. So as you can see there, it is off, it's not actually in the middle, so we can go 30, uh, sorry, 32.5, there we go, and that'll move it into the middle, you can see that there, how that's actually going straight through that, so we know that one's in the middle there, 
Um, just going to double check this one. Yes, that one's also off. Just move that in the middle there. Now we need to space them out. Um, so now this is 200 millimeters long. So we're going to check that this is right in the middle at 100, which it's not. So I can change it to 100. Um, and then what we need, so we can see from this picture that they are 65 millimeters away from each other. So if I click there and click on that one, and I can make that 65, and it'll move for me, and we'll make sure that's right as well. Um, I'm purposely as well starting to move these apart because some people, when they watch my videos, get really confused about um, where the so if these are actually important, and they're not. That's why I've actually made them off center. So there we go, we've done that. So now it's going to go 3D model, extrude. Now this part you might want to zoom in a little bit, um, just to make sure you get your circles. Um, and they'll actually originally, they'll go straight up, because that's what we've extruded last time. Um, it does take a little while for this, my computer to catch up. I don't know, I think it's because the um, drawing that I'm using is actually quite old. And the program's freaking out a little bit. Um, so there you go, and I know it's going all the way through because I extruded the base at 90 millimeters, and so then that one's done. Um, now we're just going to double check here. Um, we'll check how tall these pins are. So if I go to dimension, and I go to the edge of that, and the edge of that, and we can just see they are 37 long. Okay, because you can see from that they're flat on the bottom, so 37 is how big they're going to be. So if I go over to pins now, Start 2D sketch, make a circle that is 3.2. Um, we know that because the holes are 3.2, so we've made that. 3D model, extrude, and then we're going to extrude this 37. And we only need to make one of those, so that's that one completely done. So next video is going to be us making all of the squares, so go to that one next.